Dragon Ball Super, episode 28. No word. Perfect. I don't want to sound like a fanboy, but I'm going to. If I had to rate this episode, I would give it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Perfect. It better than the manga, in my opinion. Beautifully animated. Great job, Toei. Great job. I don't know if you guys are going to keep this up, but I'll, if, if you do, well, damn. Because this is amazing. I just have legitimately amazing quality. Amazing quality. I just, I literally, I can't get over how good it was. I, I can't, <coughs> I can't. This episode contains a lot of great things. One, a little bit of action. Well animated action, too. Classic Toriyama humor. Classic Toriyama humor. Something you would only see in Dragon Ball. And that everybody can laugh at, which is great. That's why people love Dragon Ball, because it's something you don't need. It doesn't have any Japanese jokes in it. There are jokes that everybody can understand, and they're just... And also, Toriyama characterization. That's all I did. Like, Toriyama level, good, good characters. Champa's in my top ten. Champa's amazing. He's amazingly written. Vados looks like a boss. He looks amazing, and I don't mean physically. Well, technically, yes, I do mean physically she looks amazing, but when I say physically, I mean her power. She seems very strong. I'm not talking about the way she looks. No, that, that's not it at all. Not it at all. She's not bad looking, but when you see my point is she's very strong. She looks strong. Now, there was not the line, there was no line in this about her being stronger than we. But you could sort of tell, just by the atmosphere, that they're equal. That was clear, because she put out his dad that was like, Champa, stop. When he, and he was like, Beerus, stop. Like, when they started fighting, they were just like, stop. They both stopped them both just as easily. So it is very heavily implied that they are equal. I do believe Vados is stronger, just because it was said in the manga that she was stronger. But who knows, maybe I'm wrong, but... Just this episode of Dragon Ball Super was just so good. Alright, we got the setup from a Universe 6 and 7 tournament. I, and I mean, you know, we that explain the two universes. That two, uh, every two universe has a parallel universe. That's number added to 13. 6 and 7 added together equals 13. Like, the first universe and the 12th universe are parallel to each other because they both equal 13. 11th and 2nd, because 13, I mean, you know, stuff like that, so we got that explained. We learned a lot from this episode, about the universe in, with Champa revealed to be a god of destruction. We get to see some great Goku and Vegeta interaction, great job with that Toei, but Goku and Vegeta in interaction in this episode is amazing. It is top of the line, amazing, no words. It's beautiful, it's great. It's just, it's really good. It, it's done really, really well. And I gotta get them credit for that. There are so many scenes where they're, where they're just, like, talking and goofing around. They're definitely not, like, good, but they're not, like, best of buddies. But you can tell they're friends now. You can really see the development from the Boo Saga, where they became friends. Instead of being, like, instead of the whole, I'm gonna kill you. Think from Vegeta, you can see that. Also, I did like the work. There were two lines from Vegeta that were just him straight up publicly complimenting Bulma. Indirectly, and I like that. First of all, when you're do doing the push up, he said these suits are even more stressful than Bulma's gravity chamber. But the way he said it was like him saying, and like, that's a big deal. He's like, the, you, like you have a better training method than Bulma invented. Good job. Like, that's a big deal to him. And then. When they're talking about the Super Dragon Ball, which I'll get into later, Vegeta interrupted like, Bulma can build a radar. Like, such confidence in her skills to build the radar. It was really nice to see Bulma, uh, Vegeta say something like that. I mean, in, in the Boo Saga, that, that would have been Goku. In, like, the Boo Saga, it would have been Goku who said that thing. It was like, listen, I know Bulma to die as a kid. You can build a radar. No, this time it was Vegeta, and I loved that. I loved that Vegeta willing to be like, she can do this. I love that. That great. Any moment with Vegeta, like being like, you know, standing up for his family is amazing. Like, I hope 
in the next episode, they keep the thing with Chaco, when her and Bulma, when him and Bulma go off to see Bruno. I, I hope so much. So they keep the thing where, where Vegeta goes into Jocko and is like, keep your hand off my Bulma, I, I, or I'll kill you. I, because that scene in the manga is amazing. Because Jocko is terrified of Vegeta and it is hilarious. Really well done, stuck with Vegeta, and then we get into the Super Dragon Ball. Amazing. So we get to flame the Super Dragon Ball. <laughs> We're Super Dragon Balls, or what we know about them at the moment, which is the Demekian carved, uh, took carvings of the Super Dragon Balls and used that to create their own Dragon Ball. Which doesn't really make any damn sense, considering the canon, but, you know, I'll let Toriyama explain the Super Dragon Balls fully before I go on a full on rant about how he just retconned the Dragon Balls. Which, it's a big deal, you can't retcon the Dragon Balls, you can't do that. But before he does that, you know, before he retcons that, I will give him a chance to fully explain the Super Dragon Ball, show us the Super, Super Dragon, whatever the hell it's called. I'll give him a chance to do all that first. But, we get explained that the Super Dragon Ball can grant any wish. Beerus and Trampa have the fight over the food, and they, you know, they decide that they want to fight. And if Beerus wins, he gets the Super Dragon Ball, and if Trampa wins, They'll find the seventh Dragon Ball and they'll switch the Earth between two different places. Now, I'm going to do a video regarding Chapter 8 on why that wouldn't be a big deal and why I think that would be better. I don't know when I'll be dropping that, but I will be dropping that within the next couple of weeks. Maybe like three, four weeks I'll drop that video. That, well, that video will be ready to go out, but I'm going to point that out there. That will be doing a video on why I think it would be better if Universe 7 Earth was switched when Universe sent the Earth, but whatever. Really well done. Of course, Goku is the one. Goku, you know, Goku's hilarious in his episodes. No disregard to Chompa's level of authority. Doesn't give a crap that he's the god of destruction. Straight up asked him, are you, a, are you a fat version of Beerus? Who are you? Great comedy there. And, you know, Goku's instantly all for the tournament. He's like, Hell yeah, let me in. Vegeta as well. Vegeta takes the time to think about it because he doesn't like the word team. But eventually he agreed because he thinks they'll make him stronger. And just, really good episode, guys. If I had to rate it, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. And you guys know this coming from me is a big deal. But I would say it's almost as good as the One Piece episode. And if I did not, if I did not know what was going to happen, this would be better than One Piece Chapter 813. If I did not know what was going to happen. But because I knew, like, you know, the outline of what was going to happen in this episode, it took away from the hype and the One Piece chapter I obviously didn't know what was going to happen. So, yeah, there actually, there, you know, there's less hype for that, but I'm just very pleased with this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed my review. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you thought of the episode in the comment section down below. And have a great day, guys. This is One Piece Nation, signing out.